No, who is this? What number am I calling? Oh, you know, you just want to learn. No, stop. I, I'm waiting for an important call. What do you mean? Stop calling. I, I am waiting for something important. Like, stop making all these pranks. Oh my god, just stop. I mean, you have been called like four miss, times. Miss. You know no, what? stop. You know what? <laughs> you know what? Sorry, wrong number. All right.
I'm sorry, Marie. He'll for all and made his busy. Operator! Operator! Yes, ma'am? You didn't try to get that wrong number at all. I asked explicitly, and all you did was that correctly. I'm sorry, what number were you calling? Can't you for once forget what number I was calling to do something specific? Now I want you to trace a call. It's my civic duty. It's your civic duty to trace a call and to handle dangerous curious. And if you won't... I'll connect you with the chief operator. Please! Miss Curtis? We'll pick up at 17, please. Yes, you. What's the trouble? Somebody wanting a call trace. I can make her not relevant. Sure, dear 17. This is the chief operator. Chief operator, I want you to trace a call. A telephone call immediately. I don't know where it came from or who was making it, but it's absolutely necessary that it be shut down. Because it's about a murder. Yes, a terrible call about a murder. Tonight, 11 15. I see. Can you trace it for me? Can you track those men? It depends, man. Depends on what? It depends on whether the call is still going on. If it's a live call, we can trace an adequate one. If it's been disconnected, we can't. Disconnected? If the parties have stopped talking to each other. Oh, but of course they must have stopped talking by now. That was at least five minutes ago. And they didn't sound like a would make a long call. Well, I can't try tracing it. Now, what's your name, ma'am? Mrs. Stevenson. Mrs. Albert Stevenson. But listen. And the telephone number? Plus, I've heard to tell you goodbye. But if you go wasting all this time... And what's your reason for wanting this call traced? My reason? Well, for heaven's sake, is it in office? I over here to men. They're killers and they're planning to murder some poor innocent woman. It's a matter for the police. Have you told the police? No, how could I? You're making this check in the proper call purely as a private individual? Yes, but meanwhile... Well, Mrs. Stevenson, I you see that whether we can make this check for you at this time just in your say as a private individual. We have to have something more official. Oh, for heaven's sake, you meant to tell me I can't report a murder without getting tied up in all this red tape? Well, it's perfectly... All right then, I will call the police. Ridiculous! Your call, please. Police department, please. Bring in a police department. Sorry, sorry. Very much better. We have to. We can't have nobody on the name. Mr. Connors. I got a question. Why do you make me not reply? We have a phone. Police department, press the Police department? Oh, this is Mrs. Stevenson. This is Albert Smythe. Stevenson of 15 Harris Saddle, please. I'm calling up to report a murder. Yeah. I mean, the murder hasn't been committed yet. I just overheard last night over the telephone. Over a number that you heard it gave me. I've been trying to trace down the call myself, but everybody's so stupid, and I guess in the end, you're the only people who could do anything. Yes, it was a perfectly definite murder. I heard a plan specifically. The one we're talking, and they were planning to murder some poor woman who lived in a house near a bridge. Yes, ma'am. And there was a perfect patrolman on the street. He was going to go on for a beer on Second Avenue. And there was a third man, a client, who was trying to have this poor woman murdered. And they were going to get, take it where her rings and bracelets. And we'll use an eye. And it's so very regretfully. I know that well. I see. I was so About eight minutes ago. Oh, then you can do something. You do understand? And what's your name, man? Mrs. Stevenson. Mrs. Albert Stevenson. We've taken our setup place. That's near a bridge. That means for bridge, you know. And we have a private patrol on our street. A second avenue. I'm not supposed to call you. That was the number you called us. More than 4008, but that wasn't the number I ever feared. I mean, more than 4008 is my husband's office. He's working late tonight. And I was trying to reach him to ask him to come home. I'm in his body, and I hate to be alone. Even though he says I'm perfectly safe as long as the, I have the telephone right beside my bed. Well, we're going to take Mr. Sears and I'm going to see if we can turn the phone. But the telephone company said they couldn't do anything if the parties have stopped talking. I've already taken care of that. Oh, yes. Personally, I feel you ought to do something far more immediate and addressing than just checking the poll. I mean, what does checking the poll do if the parties have stopped talking? By the time you track them down, they will already have committed the murder. Well, we'll take care of it later, don't worry. I'd say the whole thing calls for a search. I completely threw a search for a whole scene. I'm very near reach, and I'm the first on Second Avenue. And I hope no, I'd feel a whole lot better if you send a ready card to this neighborhood at once. And what makes you think that more because we can really be Oh, I don't know. The coincidence is so horrible. The bridge, the patrolman, Second Avenue. The Second Avenue is a very good street, man. Do you know how many bridges there is if you're alone? Yeah. The Jewish Brooklyn is staying out of Queens on the Bronx. 
How do you know this is so little house and this is like so little sacred now you never cared about? How do you know they were talking about you alone? But I heard it call on the lyric dumbing system. How do you know it was a long as a question? So the funny thing is Look, lady, we're well, looking at this way. Suppose you never broke any of that time for coal. Suppose you have your husband, you always do. Would this water have made any difference to you, then? Oh, I don't know. I suppose not, but it's so human, so cold blooded. A lot of mortars are committed this year every day, man. If you could do something to stop it, we would, but a cool little sky that's so bad isn't much more used to us than no cool at all. For surely. Oh, yes, of course, I'm so ungrateful for thinking this call is phony, and that's so we plan to more you. Me? Oh, no, I really think so. I I mean, why should anybody? I'm not alone long day at night. I see nobody that for my maid alive. She's a big to have a <laughs> She's the like to pick up my breakfast tray, and the only other person is going to have a problem. He's crazy about me, as he wants me, it took me heavy to do it. This person left my side of the bed 12 years ago. Well, then. There is nothing for you to worry about, is there? And now, if you just need the rest of the time, you can stop me! But what will you do? It's so late, it's nearly 11 o'clock! We'll take care of it, lady, no worry. Will you run taxi all over the city and send lots of bikes and wear your reading cards to watch out? Especially in suspicious neighborhoods like mine? Lady, I said we had to take care of it! Just now, a couple of martyrs give my test, I require my minion! No! Idiot! No! Why did you do that? No, you think so cool! Your call, please. Operator, will you try that very hill for Bobo the agent for me, please? I can keep I cannot I can't do what's keeping him so long. Bring him more heel for Bobo the day. The line is busy. Shall I? I can hear it. You don't have to tell me. I know it's busy. <laughs> oh, if I could only get out of this bed for a little while. If I could only get out of lean out the window and see the street. Hello? Albert? Hello? Hello? Oh, what's the matter with this phone? Hello? 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 Who is this? Hello? Your call, please. Operator, I don't know what's the matter with this telephone tonight, but it's absolutely driving me crazy. I've never seen such inefficient, miserable service. Now look, I'm in a valley, and I'm very nervous, and I'm not supposed to be annoyed, but if this keeps going on much longer, you're in trouble, man. Well, everything's wrong. The whole world could be murdered for real people care. And now my phone keeps ringing. Yes, ma'am. Ringing and ringing and ringing. Every five seconds or so. And when I pick it up, there's no one there. I'm sorry, ma'am. If you don't hang out, I'll test it for you. I don't want you to test it for me. I want you to put through the call whatever it is at once. I'm afraid that it's not possible, ma'am. Not possible? And why, may I ask? The system is automatic. If someone is trying to dial your number, there is no way to check whether the call is coming through the system or not. Unless the person who is trying to reach you complies to his particular operators. Well, of all the stupid complicated. And meanwhile, I've got to sit here. Suffering every time my phone rings, imagining everything. I will try to check it for you, ma'am. Check it! Check it! That's all anybody can do! Oh, what's the use? Hello? Hello? Stop ringing, do you hear me? Answer me! What do you want? Do you know you're driving me crazy? Hello, this is Plaza 2295? Yes, yes, this is Plaza 2295. This is Western Union. I have a letter over here from Mrs. Albert Stevenson. Is there anyone there to receive the message? I am Mrs. Stevenson. The telegram is as follows. Mrs. Albert Stevenson, 53 North Southern Place, New York, New York. Sorry, terribly sorry. Try to get you for last hour, but line busy. Leave it for Boston 11 p.m. tonight on urgent business. Back tomorrow afternoon. Keep happy, love, sign, Edward. Oh no! That's all, ma'am. Do you wish us to leave our copy of the message? No, no. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Good night. Good night. Oh no, he couldn't do it. No, and he knows I am alone. It's
some drink, some finish. Your call, please. Oh, pray, I'm ready to try that Harry Hill 4098 number just once more, please. Bring him Harry Hill 4098. Oh no, he's gone. He's gone. He couldn't do it. But I can't be alone tonight. I can't. If I'm alone, no, no, wait for another second. I don't care what he says or what expenses. I'm a sick woman. I'm a child. This is information. Do you have the number for Hedgley Hospital, please? Hedgley Hospital, do you have the address, man? No, it's over near the seventies, though. It's a very small and private and exclusive hospital where I had my appendix out two years ago. Hedgley, H E N C. One moment, please. Please, hurry, and please, what's the time? I don't know. You may find out, but I'm in memory on 71212. Oh, for heaven's sake, couldn't you just find out? The number of Butterfield is 70105. Butterfield 70105. Sorry, wrong number. 